I'm here at Scarland Hall, which will stand empty next year due to renovations. Faulty plumbing has caused the freshman dormitory to be shut down next year, and right now it's uncertain whether it will be converted into an office building or be refurbished as another dormitory. We knew for a little while, probably a couple of years, that we had some problems with shower drains specifically, um, but it was just a couple of months ago now that we realized the full extent of the, the problem and uh, decided we needed to do something to fix it. Previous problems in this 46-year-old building included showers leaking into the ceilings below and this pipe, which was so thin that a plumber's snake broke through it, leading to the decision to shut the building down. Scarland currently houses students in the EDGE program for freshmen. Those first-year students will be housed in Lathrop Hall next year while design and construction assesses the damage and the future use of the building. Well, we look at um, the potential uses down the road, um, you know, which departments uh, could and should move in here. The loss of the dormitory puts the Department of Residence Life in a squeeze. Housing applications have been steadily rising in the past few years, and if the numbers for next year remain the same as they did this school year, the department will have just four beds to spare. Especially pushing that crunch is the possibility that more in Bartlett Halls, built just two and four years after Scarland, could soon encounter the same problems. If you view Scarland as having full-fledged emphysema, then Moore and Bartlett both had ba bad coughs right now. And For that reason, Huddy hopes that Scarland will be refurbished as a dormitory again, rather than converted to office space, as is one possibility. What if we had, in the middle of a school year, something go happen in Moore or Bartlett? that we couldn't patch and get through the rest of the year like we have in Scarland. And we had to move people out of the building. Then we got a problem. Scarland's plumbing demise is just one factor in the campus housing task force, which is examining options for new dorm buildings on campus. However, funding is always in the mix, and at least for now, any future of new or refurbished housing is uncertain. Reporting from Scarland Hall, I'm Courtney Westfall.